What's up, guys? You know who it is. Check my YouTube page. Welcome to the Chronicles 3. About 10, 15 minutes ago, I was having a conversation. And the particular person that Chronicles is about stated that they never said that's why my son was burned. And I'm like, no, you made that statement like an aha moment like or a tit for tat moment. And But she stated, she was like, no, I never said that. She said, you let them get burned and you still took them around their mother. And I'm like, no, that's not what you said. So, you know, you know me, I keep files and records. I didn't used to, you know, but a lot of people try to dis destroy your name, defame your character and things of that nature. I've been dealing with that from courts, you know, stuff like that. So I'm used to it. But I'm going to let you guys hear and I want you guys' opinion. Chair. I said, my, and pass the burn, your son, and you still let him go over there. 
Nice. See what I'm talking about? Okay, See what I'm talking about? Stop. Stop. Both of y'all. So, Dominique, you understand that Anthony feels like. You understand that Anthony feels like he don't trust. He was honest with you. He said, I don't trust your mom. Yes. With my baby. Okay. So he have reasons to believe that's the reason. He have reasons that he don't trust. So he told your mom that that hurt her feelings. And I get all of that. So I, and I'm not saying any of these things for a reason only, but to re- restate what has been said, what I just heard. Mm-hmm. So Anthony doesn't trust your mom with the baby because of her temperament. Now he just said, because she hit Braylon with a wheelchair. So that is her longer. Oh, okay, she said when she felt that she felt hey, that she hey, I don't, I, 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 okay. I don't, I don't, that's none of my business. What I'm, what I'm doing is stating the fact of that's his reason for him saying, okay, now I don't want the baby, I don't want the baby around. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but those are his films. Now, you go to, who kind of burnt your son with something and she still, and they still go around them. So I'm going to ask you a question. Where are the boys at right now? With him. Why are they with him? Because he got him. Why he got him? Because he kept him. I mean, what do you mean, why? Why, why, why? Why, why is he keeping him? Why does he have them? Why does every time he have them, he, he, he fights hard to get him? Why he go to jail? Because he got his kids. Why don't she call and bam on the door and call the police on him and do shit and he won't give the boys to her? Why? Don't know. You do know. He don't trust her. She unstable. And she acts a fucking fool. They don't eat when they with her. And she don't do shit right. Now, can he do it permanently, legally, without going through a whole bunch of shit through court? No, but he's doing it the best way he can. Why? Because he don't trust her. Mm -hmm. So you tell me what does that look like to you. So you just, you just, you just try to have, when you have an argument, baby, you got to have an argument that's solid. My argument that's solid is now, what you're saying that, now this is my argument, you're telling me, now, out of all of this, he's, I feel as though, in my opinion, is projection, because you're, he's in that circumstance, in that situation, I automatically have to shield my people off this woman, help me. Because either that, exactly, I oh no, that's you just said the other day that they don't help you. That's the point that I'm making. That's the point that I'm making when I say y'all gotta come together and talk about what the fuck y'all gotta do when it comes to parenting the child. Because that's what I'm saying. Y'all gotta come together and talk about what y'all gotta do when it comes to parenting the child. I didn't, I just told you, I didn't say what he's saying is right or wrong. I'm giving the facts. He has an like, issue with your mother being with the baby because he has a reason. He's saying, okay, I don't like her temperament, blah, 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 for whatever reason. I'm and gonna, not to cut you off, that's not the only reason because here. Dominique herself says okay. she does not trust her with the kids. Okay, and he but did. that's the thing. But, okay, but that's the thing. That's why I'm saying y'all got to talk about these things. Now, Dominique, you come in with a fact of, well, possibly, but first of all, that happened. You know how many years ago that happened? What I'm saying is, what, I, no, I, I, I'm asking you questions. Have a conversation with me. Yeah. In order to have a conversation, that means you you listen and you respond, you respond yeah. and then you listen. So I asked you what you're not It happened over seven years ago. Do you know all of the details of how it happened and why? Because he was hungry and he tried to cook for himself. Okay, and that's what Anthony told you, right? Yes. No, I told okay. you she actually, oh, I thought that she lost it. No, 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 I'm not doing it. I am not doing it. Okay. It's the problem. Y'all, y'all call for help, but y'all, y'all don't want to listen. I'm so, listening. That's what Anthony told you, right? Mm-hmm. And you, 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 you believe that because you trust him, right? Yep. Have you ever heard Tasha side of the story? Nope. So that's all you know, right? Yep. But because of that, you know, this is the reason why he is super fucking protective of his kids and every chance he gets, they're with him, right? Mm-hmm. So therefore, you have you stand on no ground to use that as an excuse as to why you might be feeling and doing the way you're doing. My thing is, is if you don't talk to me about how you're feeling about, about something, say what you just said just a few minutes ago. I have help. My family helps me and he got a problem with my health. Because here, that's the issue. Yeah, it's like you, you, you spoke to me before and you said, don't bring kids up and shit. That's what I'm saying. Don't bring kids up and stuff. But he doesn't. He don't know. He doesn't have nothing to do with that. That situation with Tasha, that shit don't have nothing to do with what's right now. No, what I'm saying is, so she brought up right. Like, okay, that's where the whole snap come from. Because it was, I called her and I said, I'm going to give him every right that I gave him. My son's father. So when he brings up things like that, like my son's 
mother. We have a whole different background. Whole completely different background. So he said, he said it. I said, but when I met you, God, that happened over seven years ago. He didn't, he didn't trust you, he didn't trust you. But when I met him, the boys was going over her house every week. And the boys was living with her. Cause that, that's your mom. That's why I said, and he said, 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 he said,
with Tyler, and I called you. And I told you, I said, I have not been one time I've been over my sister's house and not tell you. And I said, my sister would tell you you're a motherfucking lie because I also dueled you. Now I'm waiting for my sister to tell you. So she hung up? How do you say that? Very interesting, huh? Yeah. But the, all the, the issues stem from we had two dis not even disagreements. I, I set rules. Like, she was telling me, like, I don't trust Braylon, you know, being with my mom. And to put facts on that, I would ask her, like, why would you say that? Because she do little things to him and things of that nature. So for about six months, you telling me this. And then she hits him with the walker. And then whenever you don't have nobody to watch Braylon, if he's out of school, you send him with his dad. And his dad even asked you, like, this is his home. Why do we have to leave his home? Because he can't be trusted. She, she can't be trusted. And that's not fair. She shouldn't be there. That was said. That's, that was a legitimate question by her baby daddy to say that. Like, why he got to leave every time? That's his home. But then when I have the same opinion and I'm watching, I'm, I'm staying with them, I'm being around for almost a whole year and I'm watching the interactions and the mental, emotional abuse, even the mental, emotional abuse that she was enduring and then tried to take it and put it on me, like mimicking the environment. I'm like, I'm not going for that. So I'm an enemy now because I'm not going, I'm not willing to be treated physically and emotionally abused. I'm not going for that. And then, you know, you keep, Lying on me. Don't defame my character. It's, it's just, I'm not going for that. I'd have been through too much in my life for somebody just to come and lie on you like that. It's very easy for people to believe a lie, and it's hard for the truth to even come out. So I don't understand why it's a problem when I say I don't want my son left alone with your mother when you didn't leave your oldest son and he's nine years old with your mother. And the baby is. At that time, he was three months. If you don't leave your nine-year-old, why would you leave your baby? Nine or eight-year-old. That's insane to me. And then the point to say, oh, that's why you, that's why Tasha burned your son. How does that have anything to do with that? that that's not even comparison. That's evil for you to even say some shit like that. But I got some more for y'all. Peace out.